What's going on everybody? Rob Peer here and today we're going to be going over some hard lessons learned and I'm also going to be introducing you to my new friend uh, Mr. Roost. He's a little sample roaster. Been rocking my jollies lately but before that I want to show you something. So let's go check that out. Now I've spent probably the last 10 months trying to get this old building and turn it into a coffee roastery slash shop and to keep the story short it didn't work out. You see, bad credit, minimal capital, and a good attitude just doesn't quite get as far as I figured it would. Now, I learned a lot about what banks are looking for, what a business plan needs, and when the opportunity in the future arises, I'll be better equipped to take it on. My failure of acquiring this building was just a 10-month education in the business funding process. But most setbacks have silver linings. You got the boards up there. Dude. Off, just see what was underneath. And yeah, it looked like that. And so, although my dreams couldn't come true, I'm glad <laughs> John's can. So this, this is, is my buddy John Cavalier, cool an amazing see, like, bookstore yeah, owner um, and fellow lover of old buildings. Before, like, After discussing my failures game. about buying this building, um, cool he went and made it happen. It's been a lot of work. You know, it's been a lot of work, but the amazing part is. When you work on a building like this, you get to know every square inch of it. Yeah. You have to touch literally everything. And yeah. So it's been a it's been a lot of work, but we're certainly getting there. When are you promising to be open? <laughs> we don't make promises. We don't make promises. <laughs> I hear that. But, but yeah, I think that plaster. I didn't realize it was that thick. I thought. Ain't that cool, man? It's so cool to see somebody's dream coming true and stuff like that. And like I said, even though it didn't really work out for me. I'm super glad it's working out for John. So, I will be proceeding down the long, enjoyable, slow process of self-funding. I had hoped to have a coffee shop, but you know, we're gonna cut back plans uh, back a lot while I save up. I'll be focusing more on a coffee lab build out, the electrical's done, the insulation's done, the sheetrock is complete. Uh, should be moving all my stuff in over the next couple weeks and getting the lab and studio set up for roasting and video creation. Ooh, my focus is also going to be on expanding the YouTube channel and the content, stuff like that. Integrating a studio into, you know, my coffee shop or coffee roastery was always one of my goals and I'm definitely going to keep that because I just feel in today's arena of business and strategy and stuff like that, honestly, if you're not always pumping out new types of content, it's really hard to get seen. There's a lot of noise out there, there's a lot of competition. And if you're not willing to stay at the top of the spear when it comes to pushing out, you know, new information, new products, new knowledge, new whatever, it's going to be hard to keep up. So my main focus is going to be getting the roastery back up and going also with the coffee lab and stuff like that. The coffee lab is going to basically help me create more content, consistent content. That way I can actually plan out, you know, videos and stuff like that. I will be selling coffee by the end of the year. That is my goal. Um, definitely want to try to make that happen. Because of this, you know, build out and doing all that, um, it's taking a lot more time than what I was kind of expecting. And also, it's taking a little bit more money than I was kind of expecting. So, such is life. So as you can probably tell, the uh, podcast has kind of been put on hold. Um, I'm hoping to bring it back maybe around the 1st of November or something like that. But the podcast is not dead. It will be coming back. It's just not going to be coming back, like, you know, anytime soon. But it is going to be coming back. I want to get a dedicated space in here to do the podcast. I want to start doing the podcast more in person instead of, you know, this uh, Zoom type of stuff. I, I want to do more multi-camera angles and stuff like that. That's kind, that kind of was my goal in the beginning, but I never really had anywhere to do it. So this is going to allow me to basically uh, have an atmosphere where I can set up a podcast the way I want it. Have total control of the sound, total control of the light, and yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So for me, this little studio coffee lab space is literally just setting up the volleyball. You know, you always want to set up the volleyball before you just come up and spike the hell out of it. So that's the whole point of this. This is the setup. I actually don't have enough money at this point to buy a production roaster. So what I'm probably going to be doing is just continuing to create content, really pushing down that path now, get the podcast back up and going, and then I'm going to save up my pennies and buy me a really good roaster. I don't want a low budget of roaster at this point. I have a space to put it now. Everything's gonna be up to code. 
So whenever I go back, I want to have a decent roaster that I'm not going to have issues with and that's going to be able to meet the demand and the needs and stuff that I'm wanting. Anyway, so y'all want to see the roost? Let's go see the roost, the L100. Let's do that. Let's do that. So this is the roost L100. It's a state-of-the-art sample roaster that has really been just blowing my mind since I started using it. Now we'll be diving more into all the bells and whistles of it with the first crack detection. It actually counts the cracks in the beans. You can set an actual development period that you want that'll drop as soon as that development period's over. I mean, it's 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 crazy. The amount of data that you can pull from this thing, I haven't seen any other roasters that really rival it. We'll definitely be diving more into the bells and whistles of this in another video. Also hit me up in the comments if you think John's bookstore needs a little coffee nook. And I've kind of talked to him about it. And, uh, I think we're eventually gonna make that happen, so. We are embarking on a new chapter. The smell of a fresh season is upon us. I truly appreciate all your support and getting me here, getting me this far with the channel and stuff like that, with the podcast, the listens, the, all the comments, the, the support that y'all have shown me is just, it's so cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely gonna be more coming. I'm back, so this is it. Um, we're definitely gonna start trying to go weekly. Eventually, I want to create a little coffee series. I'm thinking about calling it like Coffee Break Tuesdays or something, where I start releasing twice a week once I get the um, you know the studio and all that set up where I can actually have a good workflow. Sit down, press the record button, and go. Anyway, love y'all. If y'all have anything for me, hit me up. Peace out, and I'm back. Uh, okay, we in the sun. And it's bedtime. So hello.